Hi again everyone, welcome back. For this video, I'll be showing you how to find critical values for two sample hypothesis testing uh, for T. Okay, so <clears throat> there's a couple of things that you um, need to know before you find your critical values for a T test. Okay, so let me open up my T calculator under stat calculators T. Okay, so the way we do the t-test is similar to the z-test. Um, our alternative hypothesis will tell us how many tails and in which direction. So not equal to will tell us that it is a two-tail test. So I'll need to go to the between. Okay, so for t's with two samples, we have, um, we talk about the population variances. Okay, so if the population variances are equal, then what we'll need to do is we'll need to add both sample sizes and subtract two. So for this problem, that'll give me 25 degrees of freedom. Okay, and because it's a two-tailed test and step crunch won't let us do the area outside, we'll have to do one minus alpha. Click on Compute, and there's my critical values there. I should have two because it's a two-tailed test. Okay, now the other scenario is what if it's what if the population variances are not equal? Okay, so in that case, what you need to do then is you'll take the smaller of your two sample sizes, and then you'll you'll subtract one. So this is my smaller sample size. I'll do minus one. That'll give me 12 degrees of freedom. And again, I'll put in my 1 minus alpha because we're doing uh, between and not outside. And there's my critical values. Okay, now what about one tail tests? Well, let me pull one up. Okay, so this tells us it's a one tail test. I want to make sure that this symbol matches. And again, if the population variances are equal, I'll add my two sample sizes and subtract two. So that'll give me, for this problem, 10 degrees of freedom. And because it's only a one tail test, I can use alpha. So I'll put in alpha. And there's my critical value. And again, if the population variances are not equal, I'll take the smaller of my two sample sizes and subtract one. So this one's the smaller one. I'll do that minus one, and it'll give me one degree of freedom. <clears throat> Again, because it's only one tailed, I'll put in alpha and hit compute, and there's my critical value. And that's it. It's that simple. So thank you for watching, and check out my other videos.